Hey guys, welcome back. You know what time it is. It's a let's try it on video time. I haven't done one of these in a hot minute, so I figured, why not? I have a ton of Gerard Cosmetics lip products to show you guys, so I figured, let's try it on, right? Because I know you guys love these videos, and I love making them, but my lips don't. My lips hate me. My lips hate me when I'm done making these videos. Okay, so I'm going to start with what's on my lips right now, and that is this color, and it is called Cocoa Bean. So, Cocoa Bean is a really lovely, it kind of reminds me of like a warm, chocolatey brown. Brown isn't for everybody, I understand that, but I think it's really fun for fall and winter, and it warms up the face, it's, it's super pretty if you can get into wearing it. This color is so pigmented, like the pigmentation, holy, holy moly, but... So this next color is called Crystal. This is a really basic, pretty lip gloss. This has a very, very fine kind of almost champagne color to it. It more comes across as like a crystal, a crystal, a crystally gloss as you can see. It's got more of that wet look to it and it's really great for daytime or to go on top of a, a matte lipstick or something like that. I think it's really pretty and soft and simple. I actually featured this lip gloss in the tutorial of the makeup that I'm wearing right now. It's a really great staple lip, lip gloss just to go in the bag you know, in the bag in case you're looking for something quick and simple. So this is Crystal. Okay, this next color is called Jewel. Now, I was a little scared of Jewel, to be honest, when I first started to put it on because I thought that it was going to be really, really dark. Just kind of weird, but I really like it when I try it on. It's, I don't know, it's got this kind of rosy brown, if that makes sense. It's kind of a rosy brown. Yeah, so I think it's really pretty. I enjoy it quite a bit. It's great for fall. It's super glossy and it looks super glossy. Like, it looks like my lips are white. Like, you can see the shine in the center of my lips from the light. So this is Jewel. I wonder what the Jewel would be. Garnet? I think it kind of looks garnety. Yeah. Cool. This next gloss is called Plum Crazy. And can I tell you, this color's making me crazy. Holy, mauvey, plummy, beautiful lip gloss. Holy, no, I'm sorry, this is not a lip gloss. This is this is lipstick. This is straight up lipstick. This color is phenomenal. This is the Mauvy Plum color that everybody is raving over right now. It is so gorgeous. It looks good on everybody. It is so beautiful, so great for fall. I keep saying that about so many of these colors because a lot of them are good for fall right now. Look at this color. Can I mean, just look at it. It's gorgeous. It's so beautiful. I almost didn't want to try this on in the middle of the video because I knew I wasn't going to want to take it off because it's so beautiful. It's gorgeous. So this is Plum Crazy, which is Make a Mick Crazy. Now we're going to jump to lipstick because the last couple of gloss colors I have are more geared towards the Funkalicious. So we're going to save those for the end. And I'm just going to finish up with the more normal colors. <laughs> well, the, the average, everyday kind of colors. So this is one of their new lipsticks. Well, it's not new, but it's been out for a couple months now. So this is one of the Gerard Cosmetics lipsticks. And this is in the color Nude. So this is it. It is made perfectly for Nude to go along with their Nude gloss, which is hugely, wildly popular. Popular. And this is the color. It's a more, it more pulls like a peachy brown nude than like a pinky nude. And it can work for a lot of different skin tones. This formula is matte. It feels creamy. Um, on my lips, it's a little bit drying, so I tend to put a little bit of lip balm, but it's not overly drying. It's as drying as you would expect from a matte lipstick, if that makes sense. So this is the nude lipstick right here, right here, right here. There we go. Okay, so this next color is called Tequila Sunrise. Holy moly, it's super bright. It's kind of like an electric coral. It is, again, a matte formula. Really super pretty. Unfortunately for me, this isn't really something I'm going to wear for several months. I know a lot of people feel comfortable wearing bright lipstick in the fall and winter here in the United States. You know, because on the Northern Hemisphere, it's fall right now. It will be winter soon enough, but I am not one of those people. I tend to gravitate towards the more browns and nudes and dark vampy colors during the fall months. I love this color. I absolutely love it, and I know it's going to be a staple in my collection when it comes to springtime, but for fall right now, it's just not something that I would probably wear a lot. I do like the color. I think it is a very, it's just there's something about it. It's so rich and pretty. Uh, it is, again, matte. It is a little bit drying, but it's not too bad. It's not overly drying where your lips are going to, like, crack off your face. Alrighty, 1995. I'm making a revisit. <laughs> 
Okay, this is 1995. This is the next color. This is kind of a mauvey raisin color, which was popular in the 90s, as we've all heard over and over and over again over the last month or so. This is the color that everyone is going crazy over. This, more of like a plummy mauve, and this is more of a brownish mauve. I like this color. I think it's beautiful on so many different skin tones. And this color is so opaque and thick. I didn't use a lip liner. Like, I got such a great crisp line. I love it. So gorgeous. Yes. Um, at first, I didn't know if I was going to like this color, but once I tried it on, I was like, yeah, okay, I like it. <laughs> like this color. So this is what 1995 looks like. So if you want to jump in a time machine and head back to the 90s, just try on this lipstick and you'll be there. You'll be there. And you'll see me. <laughs> I know, Madork. Just get over it. Holy mackerel, Andy. Can we say a hugely fluorescent neon bright ass pink? <laughs> Woo! All right, so this color is called All Dot Dolled Up. This pink is insane, honestly. Wow. Okay, all dolled up. I feel like a doll, a Barbie doll. Yes, a Barbie doll. Maybe it's Barbie pink. Maybe that's why they call it All Dolled Up, because you feel like Barbie when you wear it. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Oh my goodness. Can we just talk about this red right now? Oh my god. This is called Fire Engine. Fire Engine looks like this, and a Fire Engine looks like this. <gasps> this is a gorgeous, bright red. Hello, Fire Engine Red. Wow. Wow. I'm actually... Oh, stunning. I love it. Look at it. It's so pretty. I love this red. It is the perfect, it's just that cherry, beautiful red. I am in love with this red. Oh my gosh. I am going to wear this so much this winter. Holy moly. I love a matte finish red too because it just, it looks like velvet. It's so beautiful. I love this red. It just, it livens up your face, makes you feel like a party girl, and makes you feel young and awesome, and this color is awesome. Yeah. Fire Engine Red is a, is a must. Definitely a must. Okay, so now we're going to round up this video with some of the more funky, out there kind of colors. So I'm going to start with this. This is called Wild Orchid. Yeah, Wild Orchid. This is right on trend for the whole wild, vibrant orchid trend that was, that's going on. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> this, this falls right in line with the wild orchid trend. So pretty. It borderlines purple, but it still have has enough pink in it that it's wearable actually for every day. Um, I actually really like it with my eye look and um, I think it's super pretty. I like it. It's not something that I would wear a whole lot, but it is something that I would wear. I think it's really nice. So this is Wild Orchid. This is actually one of their newer shades of lip gloss. Ooh! <laughs> I can't even. I have serious problems. I'm a nut job. Okay, this next color is called Borneo. Now, this is a black lip gloss. Black lip gloss. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Um, I, I would be lying if I said that this was my favorite of the Whitening Lightning Gerard Cosmetics lip glosses. Black is a little bit touchy. Well, this, this actually, out of a lot of the formulas, isn't super opaque. A lot of your natural lip color shows through on this gloss, so... I don't necessarily prefer this color for that reason. If I'm going to go for black, I'm going to go for something like really, really black, like the Lime Crime Velveteen Black. You know, I want something where my natural lip color does not show it through at all. I think this would actually be really, really good on top of like a dark red lip and then you add this on and it just gives you that black cherry kind of lip. I think the black lip gloss is good for things like that, but this, it just, it's not really my favorite. I wanted to show you guys what it'll look like on my lips, but I am not wowed by this black lip gloss at all, but um, I'm glad I tried it on. So. Oh god, I don't want to show you guys this color. This is the color Phuket. Oh my god, I don't even want to show you guys. You guys are going to laugh. Ready? <coughs> I can't. Oh my god, look. It makes my teeth look like they're made of 14 karat gold. Honestly, white lip gloss. No good. No bueno. No bueno. I don't even want to show you guys. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of things that white lip gloss is good for. Wearing it normally isn't one of them. It would be really good if you're wearing a darker lip color or any lip color and you want to put a little white in the middle and kind of do an ombre thing. But wearing lip gloss just like this is no good. It looks terrible on me. So this is 
this is Phuket. Mm -mm. No, Phuket. Phuket. So this is Bermuda. This is another really great lip gloss that's really great for my teeth color. <laughs> um, okay, so this is Bermuda. Bermuda is obviously lavender, obviously going to bring out any yellow in your teeth, hence my teeth color right now. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty in theory, but honestly, this is going to be another color that I would probably mix with a pink, like a dark fuchsia lipstick, and then put a little bit of this in the middle just for a little bit of something on the lip gloss, but I wouldn't wear this on its own because it's just not working for me, but I wanted to show you guys what it looked like on anyway. Alright, so this is the final color. This is the final color I have to try on for you guys. It's called Bermuda. This is a bright sea blue. You can see it. It actually, it actually like brings out my eyes. It's funny. You know, it like doesn't do anything for my teeth, but it brings out my eyes. I actually mm, kind of like it. Like as long as I keep my mouth shut and I just kind of zhuzh my hair and do this, I'm working it. Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not working. Okay, so this is the final blue color. It's it's actually a beautiful color. Bright, bright sea blue lip gloss. I mean, what else can I say about it? Okay, guys, so I went ahead and put a normal lip color back on. This is 1995, so it's, it's actually my favorite lipstick color. I wanted to put something a little bit normal on my lips now. No more blue and purple right now. Woo. So those are all of my Gerard Cosmetics new comings to my collection, lipsticks and lip glosses. Um, yeah, I have a series of Let's Try It On videos with Gerard Cosmetics, so I'm going to link that playlist below in case you guys want to see some other colors. And I do have a whole playlist, a whole playlist of Let's Try It On videos in general, so I will make sure I link that below for you guys if you're interested in checking them out. Um, tell me what your favorite lip color was on me. Mine is 1990 because I love it. My second favorite was Plum Crazy. And uh, yeah, yeah. If you guys are interested in getting any of the products I showed in this video, I will link the website below for you. I also have a 25% off coupon code. So if you type in Sammy R in checkout, you'll get 25% off your entire purchase. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, just go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.